This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I would like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Rihanna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Matcha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Cadence, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxid, Nicole, Terry, Hallow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, and Amy. If you would like to support the channel and get some pretty cool perks, such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> no, it's not Kai. And I'm very glad that I'm not Kai because from the sound of that, I would hate to be that person in, in that this moment right now. But no, um, it's just me. Well, it is three in the morning and your light is on and i thought i could hear some like abnormal breathing maybe it wasn't maybe it was but i it, i feel like i wouldn't be doing my duties if i didn't check on you well you don't you don't have to lie to me But, but you are lying to me and it's fine. You don't, it, you don't have to pretend like you're this cool. I stay up all night. I don't really care about societal norms type of person. You don't, uh, <laughs> I know this because it's, I am always up till five in the morning and trust me, it is not by choice. It's a combination of insomnia and not having enough hours in a day to do things. And I cannot tell you how frustrating it is, but uh, I always come out at like three in the morning. Yeah, I like to take my shower super, 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 super early in the morning, late at night, whatever you want to call this time because I don't really like being in the way of anyone else. Are you okay though? Okay, I'm, I'm glad that, that they, you're telling me you're feeling okay because I'm going to take you uh, saying that at face value even though your eyes read a little bit differently, but I'm glad so I will just Yeah, no, you heard that right. I did say five in the morning. That is usually what it is. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. As, as I have told you, as a surveyor of the halls, since that is literally my job, I get paid to do so. You are not the insomniac type. I have never seen the light on under your door at 3 a.m. And, you know, what if I go in there and you just fall asleep immediately after? And then I'm in a room with a student who is sleeping. I'm aware I'm... I, I know, I get it. I'm aware I'm also a student, but, you know. Oh, 
Well, you know, I, I am, as you know, someone who takes things at face value, I guess. <laughs> Even though I just didn't do that. So if you promise, then I guess that works for me. Yeah, no, I didn't have much to do anyways. I generally go out and get some fresh air at three in the morning, though. So take a little bit of a walk around. I don't know. Everything is so chaotic during the day. And I've found that between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., all of the party animals have officially burned out and none of the early risers are ready to go yet. So that's that's my sweet spot. That I don't really have to deal with anybody. Well, you're talking to someone who is officially off, you know, duty. I know I seem like someone who is very energetic and very, very excited to see you all. And I do actually care about you all a lot. And I have come to care about you all more as, you know, the semester's gone on, but... I can't guarantee the same energy level and enthusiasm during my, my sacred time. Well, that must mean that you are pretty special, huh? Now, oh, I always forget you have a single room. Thank you, gosh. Uh, tell me about Kai. Because the way you answered that door was very menacing, and I would be scared if I were them. So tell me what the situation is. You don't have to, of course, but... Late nights are basically for therapy sessions between two people, and I am not your RA right now. I am just another student just like you. Technically, I'm always another student just like you, but you get my point. Ha, <sighs> but it is something because I have noticed that for the past couple of weeks, they haven't been coming around here very often. Well, I don't want to rain on your parade that's already been evidently pretty dampened but they would hit on me all the time yeah whenever you two were coming back from a game or a class or something like that you would always go in and they would kind of like wink at me and try and look at me what i assume is supposed to be seductively even though they could not pull that off at all No, no, I did not at all. Uh, first of all, that is working hours, and that's pretty inappropriate for me to do regardless. Uh, second of all, I don't know them. They're a stranger. Why would I flirt with a stranger, right? I mean, sure, they're attractive. Not necessarily my type, but they are attractive. So, are you going to tell me what ended up happening, or? <sighs> the classic. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I'm doing. I'm not, I, I, and I'm sorry if it came out that way. I am absolutely not trying to downplay what you went through with them. Uh, it's just kind of more of a... Welcome to the adult world of college where people are kind of not great uh, and really trying to figure themselves out to the detriment of everyone else around them. Well, that's the thing you're going to learn when you when you continue. I, I'm not, I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm literally two years older than you. That's not, that's not the point, though. Um, I, I, I'm not saying I'm the most experienced person in the entire world, but I will say that I have had enough under my belt at this point to know that one, a big part of growing up is preserving your self 
health, your mental health, and the sanctity of your sanity over anyone or anything else. So in the future, you're not going to make that mistake again. You're going to break up with them when all of those signs are there. And you're not going to just try and push on and make it work. I can promise you that. One, uh, I hate to tell you, but you have the absolute best mentor on your side. Oh, yeah. You, th you think the other RAs would throw a luau as banging as the one that we had last week? Uh, you must be out of your mind if you think that's the case. Second of all, and don't tell anyone I said this because one, this is I'm off duty. And two, uh, I don't want anyone to get the idea that I am playing favorites, but you have a really great head on your shoulders. Yeah, you do. Uh, it, it's very clear to me over anyone else up here that you, you've, you've got a way in which you want to approach things and a code of ethics and, and work ethic that is really something special. And to have all of that carved out when you are just getting into college, that is very, very, very impressive. Well, <laughs> stop it. No teasing. Thank you. I'm allowed to tease you. You're not allowed to tease me. I know it's unfair. I was just kind of hoping. Uh, I know I seem like I have it all together. And I kind of do. <laughs> no, <laughs> that came off wrong. I kind of do in the way that I'm sacrificing a lot of my time and some of my energy on a consistent basis to have it all together. But once again, it took me like two and a half years to get here. So it's going to take, even for someone as polished as you already are, it's going to take some time to um, smooth out the edges. And plus me, uh, plus me, plus me. No, yeah, I deserve that. That that I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't believe I said that. Um, and plus, trust me, uh, you were far too good for Kai, anyways. Well. Uh, one, I know a couple of the TAs that are helping with some of the classes that they're in, and they s are not very smart at all. Don't even know why you would have been initially attracted to them, because you do come off as... Is it is it demi-romantic? Someone who can only connect on uh, that level? Oh, no, that's not. It's not demi. It's like people who are attracted to smart people i can't think of the term demi is different uh but yeah you come off as someone who is only into people who have uh are able to match your intellect and i can tell you without sounding pretentious that kai was not one of those people but you already knew that i mean at least you can kind of go to bed uh sleeping properly knowing the fact that they were not malicious they were not this grand master scheming to steal your heart and then run away with it they were just dumb uh and super in the mood let's say because they are 19 and in college and that's how that works for a lot of people. <sighs> no. No, I was too busy working myself to a place where if I got so, if I did so well my first two years, I could not take off my next two years, but not put as much effort into them. 
uh, and kind of coast the second years to second two years of college. And then I became an RA and that all completely changed. So that is very nice of you. I, 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 I know right now I seem super deadpan and super out of it and it's because I am, but uh, it is really my ultimate goal to make this experience for you all so good and so enjoyable and curate an environment of almost family -ness. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I know that there are a lot of kids here that do not have families that support them and college is such a beast in itself. So coming home to a place that provides that support that maybe you didn't get in high school or maybe you did get in high school, but now you're away and you don't get, you wouldn't get otherwise. I think it's important. And seeing you all grow together is just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's awesome. And it makes every single late night not being able to sleep, getting four hours between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. worth it. Okay, you gotta say something. You were, no, you were just looking at me. And you didn't stop looking at me, and you just, I don't know. Nervous? Was I supposed to be nervous? <sighs> All right, let's run through this really quickly. No, because I know exactly where this is going and we need to run through this very, very, very quickly. One, you just broke up with someone or they cheated on you and you broke up with them. I'm assuming they were the first person you dated in university, correct? Correct, okay. You know what a rebound is. I don't want you to do this if this is only a rebound to you. It will not be beneficial for you, and it will not be beneficial for me. So before we even go on to the next numbers, you should ask yourself, is this something you are sure about with me? Okay, number two. There, is no, there are no rules against this. They give us briefings and stuff at the beginning of every year, but there there are no rules against this. But there will be a stigma to it. And you need to ask yourself, are you okay living with that stigma here? Will this will do you trust the people that live here, that are around you, that are your friends, to keep treating you the same way? if you go through with this. I know what I think. This isn't about what I think. This is about what you think. Okay. Well, after the speech that I gave, you know that I feel that they would be supportive of this. Um, number three. It is now 3 30 in the morning at this time of night people tend to feel over emotional kind of let it all pour out in a way uh sometimes to the point where it's more than you're actually feeling uh, are you absolutely sure that the feelings that you are feeling right now are founded in reality and when you wake up tomorrow morning you will still feel those feelings are you and i and i know i i told you i take them taking things at face value but i just need to ask again are you positive because
Well, uh, even if I didn't feel the same way uh, about you, which I do, spoiler alert, I don't think I would be able to say no after a speech like that. But I will say, uh, I need you to take the initiative on this. I don't want to, I won't, I don't want it to seem like I'm coercing you into this. I need you to take, I, I am, I am interested if you are interested, but I don't want to in any way take advantage of the vulnerable state that you are in. That was, um, okay, good, 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 good. I'm glad you said it and I'm glad that I stopped myself from saying it because I did not want to lead you to any conclusions, but yes, that was, uh, the best kiss that I've ever had. And yes, believe it or not, uh, even though I have been very busy throughout my time here, I have had some kisses and none of them have even remotely compared to this. So, thank you, and I'm glad that we did that. I don't know if this is crazy to you, but, um... <laughs> I, I mean, hey, you know... If this is an indication that we should be together, I don't know what would be, because yes, that is exactly what I was going to say. Uh, you should grab a coat, though, because it is a little chilly, just like a light one, though. And um, don't, I mean, if you feel weird about leaving, uh, uh, leaving it here, but you don't have to bring your wallet, because I will be paying for our breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, it opens up at four. It was it used to be five, but now it opens up at four because it it's like for students to get there super early and prepare for their like eight a.m.s if they want to shove like a four hour or three hour study period in there or prep period. It, the library isn't open, so it's on.